don't want to go. Do you think you would have had the same success if you only came at content, like from the positive male, like in enforcement aspect? That's a good question as well. Um, and Joe Rogan said this, and he was quite right. He said, like, if I would have stuck to the male positivity and avoided anything that could be deemed misogynistic, I could have done better on the longer term. I agree with that. But I also think that relationships between men and women are such a large part of being a man and the male experience. And I also think that nearly every man, no matter who you are, whether all of us sitting here or everyone watching at home, has had a fairly similar life path. We've all grown up, fell in love with that bitch in school. She wouldn't fuck. She fucked someone else. Fell in love with her first girlfriend. She cheated, heartbroken, whatever. We've all had a similar story, right? So we all have an affinity to it. And I think that your relationship with women as a man is one of the most important things you're going to go through in your life. If you look at a man who's truly content and truly happy, he has a good relationship with women. And if you ever look at a man who's miserable, he might have all the money in the world. But his, his, wife, his, wife, his women, wife doesn't like him and he's miserable anyway. Women in general a, or one woman? No, but I'm saying it's such an important part of the masculine experience. It's hard to talk about positivity and masculine values and how to approach life and never mention relationships with women ever. So have you been through something like that with a Every, woman? No, everyone, everyone's had like girlfriends they broke up with and missed. And da, da, I'm you don't have a, Do you have any specific stories of yours in your love life that, like, that kind of like showed you that? No, I don't have anything that's... I don't think it's outstanding or any different than anyone else has. Yeah, funny. I understand. Do you know what I mean? So you How, think you think talking about that stuff, that type of content, which is so important because everyone has dealt with that kind of stuff. I think it is. I mean, like I, I can. I, another thing as I do is I react to a lot of the questions I'm asked, and I can say you the eighty to ninety percent of the questions people ask me, whether it's a super chat or it's a Q and A or if it's live, is related to in some way a chick. Yeah, like eighty percent of the questions are, my bitch doesn't like me anymore. Why? And I'm like, because you're a fucking loser. And and that's and I've. But given do you the give answer. them advice on how to change it? Yeah. Yes, I do. I but I I, I tell how, them. The how truth. do you define a loser though? Just like a bum. I uh, my my basic message, which has been mar largely misunderstood, is people always sit and say Tate says all these crazy things about girls and da da da. da. And I, I I say that I can only speak from my experience, and I am not naive. I understand that I'm living a very unique masculine experience, and it's a it's a top tier one. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine living life as a man any other way. And as a man, you need to get up and work hard and become a top tier male, or your life's gonna suck. That's basically what my message is. When Joe Schmo comes and says. I'm Joe Schmo. I'm not you. What do I do? And I say, I don't know. Because if your bitch will fuck Joe Schmo, then that means Joe Schmo's your competition. Now you got to worry about the guy in KFC, bro. Like she's after, she'll fuck anybody because she's fucking you and you're a loser. So you got to stop being a loser and get a bitch who doesn't fuck losers. Like what do you want me to do? And that's my basic message. But but you can't avoid that whole topic, right? Yeah, for and, sure. And, and then you, you know, even just what I said there, they're going to take it, chop it up, say he said this about women, fuck losers, and they're going to come at me with it. Yeah. I think Have you backed off talking about like the woman type of shit now? A bit. I mean, it's a bit boring anyway. What's there to say? Right. Like, you said whatever you, you want to say, everything. right? I think women's, uh, women stay with men they respect. You have to be a man worth respecting. And I say this all the time. So are we to, rocking with female pilots now or are we? I still, don't, I still don't want chicks flying. What do you think about it? What do you <laughs> think? <laughs> but wait, you're jokes I'm for just that. asking. You're what do you, what do you think? I still don't. And that, and, but that's not an insult on women. I'm not attacking women. I think that women are amazing, beautiful creatures, which are better at a lot of things than men are. However, in certain scenarios where there's high pressure in the result of an unfortunate circumstance, I think that men are calmer under pressure. But so I would prefer to have a male pilot. I'm not, I'm not just saying. just clip that first part though, to be honest. Oh, exactly. Yes. So, so I can't win. Goes. So what, I can't win. What do you think about a stay at home dad and the, and the wife works? I think if that makes him happy and they're a happy couple, then that's what they should do. I can also sit here and say that I don't think that that would be a happy the couple dynamic for very long. I don't think it will last long. That's mm -hmm. my personal view. I it's think that thinking about the mom's that. getting slammed in the office. I don't think I can marry. Well, well, don't I think don't check that rich is going to marry me, bro. What the fuck? I don't know. I thought that that was, that was your plan. No, I can't get that. Okay. I think I think once the chick like. Is he trying to be a stay home dad or what? Exactly. No. He's been talking about it a lot. I have never said that once. Oh, okay. Just letting that, making that very clear for the audience, by the way. I'm going to get the bag. Don't, nobody has to worry out there. <laughs> well, the audience is here, dude. What are you talking about? That's okay, crazy. sorry. My He's fault. looking Jesus. at the chicks on the couch. When, when, uh, I, when, no I, when, when I comment on that, I'm not saying that people shouldn't do that if that makes them happy. Whether it's the man or the woman, everyone should live and do whatever makes them happy. I'm saying that I don't think that relationship will last long because I don't think a woman would be happy providing for a man on the long term. Mm. That's my overall, that's my personal view. I'll say that. Some people sit there and go, that's misogynist. Some women work hard. I'm not saying some women don't work hard. I'm not saying that some couples won't work. I'm talking about as a generalization in general. I think that that couple dynamic, I don't see that working in the long term. That's yeah. my personal view. Sorry, world. Attack me. Wait, Something, cancel me again. Right, what, what, what really, ahead, yeah, 